All right, I think the Lions made the first real mistake of the off season, and we're going to talk all about it. And you know this channel. I mean, we're, we're generally, I guess, let me let me save that for a second. We're generally positive on this channel. Uh, just wh why wouldn't we be? Ever since we started the channel, all the Lions have done is improved. The roster has gotten incredibly better. They're they're one half away from the Super Bowl. And yet we act like, I don't know, I don't know. It's like, are you kidding me? We were the worst franchise forever and ever. And then next thing you know, bang, the franchise is well run. There's good leadership. Chris Spielman, Sheila, Brad Holmes. The whole thing's great, right? So we're generally very positive on this channel. Um, but there's one little small move, right? That's like, I don't love it. And so I'd love to know your comments or your thoughts in the comments um on this move or any other move where you think that they, they made a mistake and because you i mean you look at it they, they addressed corner had to have it defensive tackle had to have it get get starters from other teams at corner defensive tackle the cameron sutton things a little unfortunate obviously are very unfortunate i shouldn't say little i mean that that all around this is a bad deal for him personally everyone involved and for the lions uh because i think he would have been I would think he had a good year, but here's the mistake that I think was made. And it is that details have come out that Josh Reynolds contract with the Broncos much more affordable than reported. So NFL contracts are weird. They, they can basically say whatever they want, you know, right? So it's like, oh, he signed a two year, $14 million deal. And it's like, all oh, right, dang, he got $7 million a year. You know, it's like, man. I thought we could have maybe got him for four or five million dollars a year, but if they're going to give him for seven, I don't blame him, man. Good job, Josh. Go get go get your money. But it's not right. It's actually more like a two year, nine million dollar contract with only four and a half million dollars guaranteed. So basically, it's a one year deal, right? It's a one year deal for like it leaves just one million dollars of guarantees in twenty twenty five. So it's really just like a one year, four million dollar deal, and that is or it's right here one year four and a half million dollar deal for josh reynolds who you take away the nfc championship game and he was dependable he was strong he made catches he's like him and golf are just like it's hard to replicate that it's just hard to go and find somebody else that has a relationship with golf who has been with him for like eight years and it, it feels like he would have taken. So, so basically it, it, what it looks like here then is that the lions didn't even come close, right? If you're Josh Reynolds, you're like, well, I could stay here with the lions for $3 million a year or $4 million a year, or I could go get a little bit more somewhere else. I'll stay here. I'll stay here and get three and a half million. I, you know, right. We're, we're, we're splitting hairs now, but you get it is like, it just feels like the lions didn't even, give him much at all so it's like man they just didn't want him and i think that's hard for us to know that because now knowing the true details of the contract want us to wonder if the lions made the right decision in letting reynolds walk it would have been much easier to make the decision to let him go if it was a seven million dollar year but at 4.5 million it would have been much more understandable contract for a player the lions publicly said they wanted back and that's just it they didn't lions didn't have to match that they could have given four million three and a half million he stays he likes it here he knows the offense he, he's he's been successful here he knows golf golf he knows that it's like why why did we not get him back because if you look at now the depth chart we've been talking about on this channel man let's make our strength really strong the strength of our team is our offense we know that jared goff hendon hooker even feels good just have a nice solid backup David Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs. I mean, this is this is awesome. Sam Laporta, offensive line is set. And then you go to wide receiver, and you've got a top three wide receiver and Amon Ross St. Brown, Jameson Williams. I really like. I, I I was so impressed the way he really played the last three years or last um last three years, last few games. Um, two touchdowns in the NFC championship game. One on the end around that was like against the Niners, made the Niners look slow, went right through the heart of their defense. Like he's for real. Okay. We don't have to wonder about that. All we have to wonder though is like consistency and throughout the course of the year. And is there any more injury things there with him? Just some still question marks. Obviously, when he's on, he's he's incredible and we're lucky to have him. And he's gonna be a I mean, these two are gonna be our main receivers. No question about that. 
but with Josh Reynolds felt like a cheap way because we know Cleef Raymond's not really a every down ride receiver. He's a package guy. Cool. Antoine Green, rookie, eh, haven't really played much. Tom Kennedy, Maurice Alexander, no, no, no. These are kind of all bubble guys. Is Donovan Peoples-Jones the guy? I don't know. He never really has been. And like he's the guy that's going to step in. And he's going to be the new Josh Reynolds. Must be. I don't like that. I don't like where we're at with our run. It feels like we're missing a wide receiver that we just let walk to the Denver Broncos. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. feels like a mistake was made here. I was like, we could have got him for a pretty manageable deal. However, like it's not the end of the world. Uh, let me just say that as you look at our roster, if you look around the league at other rosters, they're just not like this. And if you look at what Brad Holmes has done, this is Brad Holmes, Brad Holmes. I mean, every, every player except Taylor Decker and Frank rag now is a Brad Holmes addition. Um, you know, even like Khalif Raymond, like I said, I mean, he's great. He doesn't play a lot because he's got special package stuff type stuff, but I mean, outstanding defensively now if you look at the at the depth chart with dj reader in here oh my gosh even marcus davenport who's a question mark but so much better to see somebody opposite of aiden hutchinson not named charles harris or a quara brother oh my gosh looks like this looks amazing so josh pascal john kaminsky like are those guys gonna step up bats is there i mean broderick martin but look at this, Carlton Davis, Emmanuel Mosley, you know, not going to play right away, but Amik Robinson. So, so th there's just what a, it just looks good. The, the depth chart is full. It looks great, but I just wish the wide receiver room was a little bit healthier. Now Lions can go draft a wide receiver. We all know that, but how long does it take to get that chemistry and stuff? I just, I don't know. Does it take six games, half the season? I mean, it took Amon Ross St. Brown half the year, it took Jameson Williams half the year. So it's just not that easy to find that chemistry, and that's what the difficult part is. So, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, we're going to be going live for the NFL draft. You can join us here, and it's a lot of fun because we're both on here, both interactive, super interactive. I think that's the big the big takeaway from the NFL draft. We'd like to hear your comments. We'd like to talk all about who the Lions are going to pick, and that's what's fun is they're, they are in the um, end, of the, end of the first round, which is great, which is just where you want to be. You want to be the end of the first round. I can't wait to see. What happens at the top of the draft? Caleb Williams feels like a bust. I mean, written all over him, but I don't know. That would be awesome if he is going to the Browns or Browns, geez, going to the um, Bears. Just like be a bust. Ruin that franchise, please, 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 please. All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't, and we will see all of you on the next one.